Welcome back to the den. We're in the den. There's nothing wrong with my lights. It's just that when you're in the den, I like it to be cosy and for you to feel relaxed and to let me worry about getting on with some projects. So, talking about projects, this week's project will be a pen. Now, I said I wouldn't make any more pens, I know, but this really is more of a testing ground for some larger projects I have coming up. So, it's a pen with a little bit of a difference. A few years ago my dad managed to salvage some oak from an old sofa that we had and I thought maybe it would be great to start making some projects from it. This is a piece of the oak. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> what I did for this project was to take a small section from the other arm, which I didn't film because it's not really that interesting watching me cut wood up and sand it. With the oak on two brass tubes ready for turning the pen. But it's not an ordinary pen, it's a dragon pen, dragon pen, dragon pen. What's a dragon pen you may ask? Well, stick around till the end of the video and you'll find out. I should mention that this project will involve fire and flames. Fire and flames. You probably shouldn't try this at home. Okay, so when you're working with fire in the workshop, first things first, safety. Tie your hair back. And always work under the close supervision of a professional. There's no need to panic, everyone! Here are my two pieces of scorched oak, all ready to make dragon-like. So let's step over to the Dremel. I pop the small burr tool onto the Dremel and I start to make some scale type patterns in the wood. Time to add some colours. These are the intrinsic colours from Martin Saban Smith. This is Flame and it's fantastic and the colour came out exactly as I wanted it to. I simply applied it with some cotton buds. You'll see the effect later on. And finally, I used some microcrystalline wax, the Renaissance brand, to seal the wood and protect it. So that's it. There's a close up of the dragon pen. Not too shoddy. I'll pop some beauty shots at the end. So if you enjoyed the project, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. A big thank you to Peter Miller for becoming my first Patreon. Thanks very much, Peter. See you on the next one and remember, stay foxy.